Hey there guys, I'm Vile Self. I am bringing you a video regarding 1080p and 720p. There's been a lot of talk about this lately over the whole Call of Duty Ghost debacle and the next gen rivalries. Um, I was asked to make a video and I've been planning on doing one anyway, so this is going to be my way of explaining to you guys what 1080p are and 720p are. I'm going to try to talk about the differences, what they mean, and I'm going to try to explain it in a technical way, but also a simplified technical way, so hopefully everybody understands it. All right. So a 1080p display has 1,920 pixels going across the screen and 1,080 pixels going down the screen for a grand total of 2,073,600 pixels. This is a representation of a 1080p display. It is 80 times smaller than an actual display, however it has the exact same ratio of pixels, so it is an accurate representation. A 720p display has 1,280 pixels going across the screen and 720 pixels going down the screen for a grand total of 921,600 pixels. This is a representation of a 720p display. It is also 80 times smaller than an actual display, but still has the exact same ratio of pixels and therefore is an accurate representation. The difference of pixel count between the two resolutions is 1,152,000 pixels, about two and a half times more pixels on the 1080p resolution. Here is an example of the exact same image displayed side by side in 1080p and 720p. Of course these pixels are magnified enormously, but I'm just showing you the overall difference. If I were to shrink these images down so the pixel sizes were more accurate, you would still see a more clear rounded image on the 1080p side. The more pixels an image has, the more lifelike it will appear. The more rounded the edges will look, the more smooth the animations will look, and the less work the hardware has to do to project the proper image for you. An important factor in getting smooth, lifelike images in gaming is anti-aliasing, also known as AA, which is basically the computing method used by the hardware to fill in blank spots on the image, allowing it to look more smooth and less jagged. Since pixels are square-shaped, they have no rounded edges, so the hardware has to create those round edges for you. Using the happy face as an example, AA would be the orange parts. They aren't truly there, yet AA renders them into the game, eliminating the jagged edge and makes the image look smoother overall. Essentially, in a way, it's faking parts of the image and tricking you into seeing a smooth line when the line isn't really smooth at all, since the square pixels have no choice but to appear in a jagged formation, causing which is known as jaggies. Jaggies are the subtle little animation glitches you see during gameplay. It's most commonly seen on moving objects and edges that are rounded. Since pixels are square, they don't display rounded edges very well, so these are the best places to look for jaggies. In a video game, the images are constantly moving, so the pixels on your screen are constantly changing. The more movement there is in the image, the more the anti-aliasing has to work in order to cut down on the jaggies, and this does have potential to cause slight dips in performance. In this image example, I have the lead character from Infamous Second Son. The image on the left is a full 1080p image magnified 5 times, and the image on the right is a 720p image magnified 5 times. As you can see, there are clear differences between the smoothness of the image. The 720p image has far more jaggies and far more sharp edges, whereas the 1080p image looks a lot smoother and overall more rounded, essentially making it more lifelike. The bigger your screen is and the more movement that is on the screen, the more these things are noticeable. The more pixels you have, the less anti-aliasing is needed to complete the image. Less anti-aliasing means less jaggies. Essentially having more pixels gives you a smoother image without having the hardware work harder to provide the smooth image for you. There really is no disputing that 1080p produces a better result than 720p, regardless if it is upscaled or not. Generally, people can't notice a difference between these two resolutions on screens smaller than around 40 inches, but just because you don't notice a difference doesn't mean that there isn't a difference. Remember, 1080p is technically more than double the image quality than 720p. For the record, I am not professionally schooled in this stuff. I have several tech-savvy friends who I discuss things with, and I google information regarding the topics that I want to learn about. I don't just pull information out of my ass and try to spread it like it's the truth, but I'm only human and there's a chance that I could be wrong or off regarding certain things that I've talked about. 
Although I feel I've been thorough with my understanding of these terms, there's a chance I could have gotten the wrong idea or not fully understood the true meaning or purpose of anti-aliasing or jaggies. And if I am wrong in any way, please leave me a comment explaining where exactly I was misinformed. I have no intentions to mislead anyone. This video is designed to be informational. I'm Vile Self. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for some Call of Duty Ghosts footage coming up in a few days. I'm going to have PS4 footage, day one, in full HD, Call of Duty Ghosts, Killzone Shadows Fall, some other games too. I hope you guys like my channel. I hope you guys like the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate the support, guys. Vile Self, out.